hello everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll be discussing about a major issue every mac os latest users might be having opening up a vagrant machine or virtual bus or directly through their terminal so if you are a mac os user mac recently released a mac a newest version of mac os which is called ventura so uh as you can see on my system i'm using version ventura version 13.0.1 but now the problem now is that after i've updated my my system os to the, the ventura version 13.0.1 i'm unable to open up my vagrant machine directly through my terminal so i had to went to this I went to the, uh, the virtualbuzz.org forum and then I also figured out that there are a lot of people at the same time who are having the same issues like me. So you don't have to panic. Uh, this video is all about, I'll just be sharing, sharing with you the reasons why you might be facing this kind of issue and uh, un unable to open up your Vagrant Buzz directly through your terminal. Now, Mark. The newest version of Ventura was released October 24. Uh, some of us know, and the, it's just it's just a, it's a new version of Mac OS. And Vagrant Machine uh, is actually not yet really compatible with Ventura. So, which is one of the reasons why you might be having that issue opening up your Vagrant box directly through your terminal. Uh, the only solution which I think I have for you guys for now is if you are a Mac OS user and you are not, uh, if not updated to the latest version of the Ventura. But for some of us who have updated our versions, I think VirtualBus right now they are actually working on uh, creating a, a, a new OS release that will be compatible with the Mac, newest Mac OS Ventura release. So you don't have to be panic. I think we should, we all need to give them some time because if I uh, actually okay, I come here and then I'm able to figure out that they're actually working on this newest version, which is version Virtual Box 7.0, which is active, currently under active maintenance. But even after I've installed it, I still figure out that it was still giving me the same error. So uh, that will be all for today. I just want to share with you guys the major reason why you might be having this issue. And if any of you guys have a quick solution to go about solving these issues, I would like you to leave it in the comment section below so we can rub minds together and then we can see if it's something that we can actually work together on and then solve it together so thank you everyone for watching this video i hope to see you guys in the next video and stay blessed have a nice day